The Undisputed Era is here. Cole O'Reilly and Fish, the most elite superstars in the entire world. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 602 pounds, the NXT Tag Team Champions, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, the Undisputed Two-time NXT Tag Team Champions have arrived. You talk about the Undisputed Era. You're looking at a collection of some of the most successful internationally traveled superstars in all of sports entertainment. And now you add Roddy Strong to the mix, and they are as dominant as ever. And you add Roddy Strong to the mix now, and Undisputed Era may just be unstoppable. Yeah, you mentioned being unstoppable, especially when it comes to the big stage. Who could forget that, that fateful night at NXT TakeOver New Orleans when this faction not only won the North American Championship, they won the NXT Tag Team Championship and the Dusty Rhodes Classic all... Andrade Cien Almas is in the ring tonight, and you know he's at 100%. Guys, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite oh. as planned. The newfound focus of Andrade Almas has brought him great rewards as wow. of late. Oh, you may call it focus. I call it finding the perfect balance between work and play. Superstar is in a six-man match. One of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. superstars in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team is the... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the dare... Going for the big one! Oh, what impact! Here's his chance! He's got the shoulders down. It's going to take more than that. 
to keep his shoulders down. I think Bobby Fish's tenacity here is coming from his days training under Harley Race. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival. Uh oh here we go, here we go! Boom! This one is over. We got a cover. And he breaks the pen. Has certainly shifted here, Michael. Oh, nasty impact. He's on the defensive here. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this Man. inevitable beatdown. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. If you look at Adam Cole's career, it becomes clear very quickly that this man is as brash, resourceful, and resilient as they come. And he he's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And the rope forces the break. You know, I really thought he was smarter than to apply a submission so close to the ropes. But I guess not. I'll go back to something you brought up, Myron, and that's Adam Cole's resilience and ability to be resourceful. Those traits make the leader of the Undisputed Era that much more dangerous and that much more difficult to defeat. Don't forget about Adam Cole being brash. I mean, the superstar has to look at the entire picture. It's not just about defeating Adam Cole, but it's about being able to survive the battle against him. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. And there's his speed paying off. No, he reverses it. Oh my God, guys! Oh, Look at this! Oh, do this! To power bomb! I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Huge toss! This is not exactly the area you want to be in. He's so close to making the... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Oh, look at this. Nick Breaker after the float over. That was pretty. This is going to be big, one way or another. Whoa! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside. Here's a cover. Kicks out of the pinfall attempt. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. In comes. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their ten count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it for everybody. O'Reilly pops the shoulder up. Not going to keep Kyle down this early. He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. 
That changes the... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. He's got some fight left in him. Still too fresh. When this guy's on, look out. O'Reilly just barely getting out of the way. Reverses that one. Damn it. like that are the reason why I love this job so much.